How long have you lived in this world? How much longer do you think you're going to be here? What have you done with your life? I mean, think, think. What have you made of it? What's your record? Are you happy with it? Are you proud of it? What are your achievements? What's your secret life? What goes on in your thoughts where nobody else sees? What's the record? What's the history of your mind, your thoughts, your imagination, your heart? Where are you? Where? 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 In every respect, where are you at? Come out of the hiding place and face the truth. You can't avoid God. And it's what Jesus did to that woman at the well. Come out of there. Come out into the open. Come out. I know all about you. Come out. You can't evade Him. And you have to deal with Him. And if you don't listen to Him in this life, you'll have to listen to Him in death. Bring it out into the open. He is kind. You see, men have wrong opinions about God. That's the tragedy. Men are just convinced God is going to crush them. God is going to smash them. All you have to do is look to the cross to recognize those words, Adam, where are you? God was speaking peace. But let me tell you, God was gracious to them. Were there consequences to their sin? Yes, there were and there always are. But God showed them mercy. And God calls us. And He calls to every one of us. Where are you? Where are you? Don't hide from the only one who can put you right. Come to the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and come at once. You misread the cross if you think coming out of that hiding place is going to be to your detriment. Look at Christ groaning upon the tree and dying and rising again. You see, one of the apostles somewhere did say, God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. God loves sinners and God speaks to sinners. He calls us out into the open. Adam, where are you? Where are you?